What's up, y'all? I'm Drew Landy, and welcome to Pokemon Violet. We have been waiting and waiting, and it is finally here. Uh, so we're going to play through the game, do a lot of the big main things. I'll do a lot of the off-screen grinding, off-screen, save you guys the... Oh, the music is so good in this game. It really is. So I've already kind of played through Scarlet a little bit. Not the entire story, but a lot, but not Violet. So this should be great. Change the hairstyle. Let's see what we can do. All right, yeah, that's that's about the right hair. Let's see. Oh, oh you know we need, <laughs> you know we need the big caterpillar eyebrows. We got freckles in this game. There, that's that's me. That's me. It's gotta be. All right. So we'll go through the tutorial in this episode. We'll pick our starter, and then uh, we'll end the episode right there. And you know who I'm gonna pick. And Scarlet, just to give you a little bit of heads up, I picked Fue Coco. Oh, no, Yuva Academy. Oh, man, it is complete. We are now ready to go to school. Yuva Academy. Leading the way into the future while valuing our individuality. I already recognize some people from all the trailers. That's the, uh, what, Cle Clavel? Cle Clavel? Clavel? Whatever his name is. Oh, I have today. <laughs> it's time for you too to dive into the world of Pokemon. It's just like any other beginning, just it's a lot more cinematic as opposed to just a professor holding a Pokeball. That's Nimona. We'll meet her uh, in just a minute. In just a minute. There he is, Professor Dr. Clavel, head of the Yuva Academy. I like the purple so much better than the orange, red, scarlet color, to be honest. There's Paul Dea. It is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokemon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. They do. Who are you gonna show us? Oh, it's Palmy. Uh, actually, look, very good. Very good Pokemon, very good. Look at he is so cute and a little bit chunky too. Pokemon can be found living all over, in the seas, in the skies, even in the cities and towns. We humans coexist with Pokemon as we both help one another to live and thrive. Yuva Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. Oh, it's a muck and there's Tauros, look at him! Look at him! He's so good, no longer is he like that brown color. It's, it's all black, super sleek and awesome. Uh, while our robust curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest p potential. It is within these halls that you will find your friends, your Pokemon, and your true self. Oh, the animation's so good! Yeah, the purple's way more sleek and, and nice. Oh, there he is! Moridon! Coming from the center? Area Zero. Ah, oh, the title screen. So good. Oh, there's the electric seagull Pokemon. There's a spider. Ah, oh, look at the Tauros. Now, what's funny is, like, you say, oh, it's way too many Pokemon. That's actually how it is. Uh, I'll, I'll show you. There, there, there's so many Pokemon just everywhere. Just everywhere. It's not like one here and there, like Sword and Shield. No, it's like a ton. I just want to sit back and enjoy, let you guys enjoy this. So I'm right on. Is going. Uh oh. Oh no. Fading. Oh. He has crash landed. Little squawkabilly. There's our humble abode. All right, so hey, how do I get started in this game? You start, also, there's an OLED switch uh, in the back. Hello? <laughs> Just a minute of pure darkness. There is autosave in this game, which is great. We'll let it just because uh, we are ready to begin our adventure. Look at the OLED switch in the back, the all white, super nice. Yep, my bed. Can I pick that up early? I cannot. Okay. 
So we'll just go downstairs, but look at look at the texture. Look at the like light off of the the wood stairs. So good. And just random squove it in the house. Doesn't seem like the best idea option. Okay, control of the camera. Now it's kind of like a fixed point. In fact, you can almost see like the bottom left, like the border of what you're supposed to see <laughs> when there's just nothing on the outside. But let's go say hi to mom. Let's go say hi to mom. Also, absolutely gigantic kitchen. Uh, so much counter space. <laughs> Kitchen's like half the house. Hey, Drew. All right, I say, hey, mom. I missed that. Anyway, oh, already in your uniform and everything. Well, it is your first day at your new school, after all. I'm so excited for you. Still, you might want to cool your engines before you go racing out the door. The school contacted me and said that you're supposed to wait here a little while longer. Their words, not mine. Apparently, there's something very important for your first day that still hasn't arrived. Maybe that's the thing we're waiting for. Drew, would you go get the door? No, just watch this. We're gonna go, we're gonna go. Oh, first of all, the absolutely humongous ceilings, everything. Do forgive the intrusion. It just walks in. Because that's a thing you should do. You are Master Drew, yes? On behalf of the Academy, I must apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents. Uh, and also for my delay in introducing myself. I am the director of Yuva Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavel. The director and you came a person to help my son with his first day. Well, I am responsible for the entire academy, including any failures on his parts. So here at last are the enrollment documents that you have that should have already been delivered to you. Hand delivered. Wow. That you really needn't have since you came all this way. I can at least offer you a cup of tea. Uh, no need to trouble yourself. Drew, I've got a thing or two to discuss with your mother. Why don't you head back up to your room? Finish getting ready for school. You'll need your bag and hat as well. All right, whatever. Sounds good. Let's go do it. Join for a, a, a cuppa. Okay, cup of tea. Well, how could I refuse such a kind offer? All right, so we get to go get our... Our wonderful stuff. And yeah, not being able to, like, walk fast is a little annoying, but whatever. But look at all the things. Can I interact with the Switch? This one's got a bigger screen. Yeah, barely a bigger screen. Oh, look at it. It's shiny. Uh, yep, I'm putting on my bag and my hat. I am ready to rock and roll. I like the black hat. Not the biggest fan of the brown backpack. It kind of clashes with my outfit, not going to lie. Uh, so, yeah. All the things. So if you're wondering if you're going to get this game later, you can look at your bag. It has all the different categories, just like in the past. Uh, options, skip move learning, all the auto save, skip cutscenes, which is, if you want to skip those, you can. Uh, we won't. We won't. Take speed fast. Please. Please. There's all the different things you can, you can edit. So yeah, we're going to save these and then go downstairs. And ooh, our Pokemon journey will begin. And the music is just so charming and wonderful. Well, hello. All ready for your first day. Big first day. Yep, <laughs> it's a very awkward silence stand up. Yes, the uniform of our storied academy suits you quite well indeed. Why is he like, oh, how careless of me. I forgot something else for you, a most important thing, but your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you follow me outside? <gasps> What's outside? Yeah, let's go see. All right, here we go. Oh, this is like the best part, y'all. The best part. If it loads. <laughs> if it loads, there we go. Now, the one drawback to this game is the performance is not the best. The frame rate dips and just the stuttering and popping is rough at a lot of times. But other than that, absolutely fantastic game. Here's the three. Oh, look at them all. I'll ask you to choose which among these three you'd like to have as your partner. Sprigatito, the grass cat Pokemon. So great. Coco, the fire croc Pokemon. Craw. 
and Quaxley, the duckling Pokemon. Perfect. Pump. <laughs> They're all very good company. Why? They usually refuse to leave my side. <laughs> Foy Coco is, without a doubt, the cutest one. He's like, uh, hi. Just talk to me. I'm listening to you. So it turns out they're more interested in you, Master Drew, than familiar old me. I do wish I could stay and see which one you'll choose. But I must be off to my next home visit. I'll be at the house just over there. Take your time with your decision. Then come find me once your mind is made up. Now, if you'll excuse me, until we meet next. Next meet? Whatever you said. What a mannerly fellow that director of yours is. Uh, you kind of should be. These three are all lovely, but you need to choose this one. Not an easy task. Why don't you take this opportunity to walk about with these little ones to get to know them? I'm sure they have lots to teach you. Oh, but before you go, I got you a little something to celebrate your big day. Take it with you. The Rotom phone. Hey. Thanks, Mom. It's a brand new phone. I can use it by pressing Y. And press Y. It's also the mini map. Which, we can see it now. Yes, we do. See, so, yeah, there's the mini map you see down there. But look at what's up, Spriggs. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I can't change the camera. All right, let's go down to the house. In case you're thinking you're missing something, really not. We're just walking, and I can't walk any faster than this. <laughs> He's like, I just want to get down to the house, please. Please get down to the house. What's up, Foy? There we go. Now I can. Now I can run. Ah, we finally made it to the house. Gigantic house, by the way. Pretty much a mansion. They got a gate. So you know it's a rich person. Oh, here they are. Come on, adorable. Spiritito is just elegant and sweet. And then Fue Coco is just... <laughs> so cute. And he sneezed, and the apple is burnt. <laughs> ah, that's so sad. Well, well, well. Are you these three's trainer? I wish I could have all three. That's hard to say, these three's trainer. Not quite. Master Drew has yet to make his choice, you see. I have. Look at them all. I do wonder which of them he will choose as his first. Guax is like, nah, bro. Don't eat that. Oh, <laughs> uh, who should I choose? Put in the comments, hey, which starter are you taking? Is it Fue Coco? Is it Sprigatito? Is it Quaxley? They all have benefits and cons. I wasn't uh, expecting to see her quite so soon. I came straight here. Like, didn't you ask me to do that? I, I don't know. Hang on, Drake. Is this who I think it is? Yes, it's our Academy's newest student, Master Drew. He will be attending as of today. So you're that kid that who moved in up the roads. So this is her house. I'm dying to find out more about you. Have you really? I'm Nimona. Normally I live in the school dorms, but home is here. What do you say, new neighbor? Want to be friends? What if I say no? <laughs> did I scare you off? Maybe I came on a little strong. Yeah, maybe you did. If you say yes, she's like, that's great. I just want to see what happened if I said no. <laughs> I love Pokemon battling. In fact, we should battle right now, you and me. Easy now, you two. You will be in the same class, so you'll have plenty of time to battle later. And to get to know um, one another better, of course. And we're going to be neighbors and classmates. Nice. We'll be able to battle all we want. I don't know why I'm talking like that. <laughs> On that note, Master Drew. Oh, who are we going to choose? Have you decided? I have decided in my head. All right, so in my personal play playthrough of Scarlet, I chose Frey Coco. So that, that really leaves Sprigatito and Quaxley. So my choice, hey, put down in the comments right now, right now. Like and subscribe because we're about to begin our journey with Quaxley. Come on. Pum. Yep, the water type. He may seem quiet, but it's mighty streams of water can put out any fire. You'll see. The water type Pokemon Quaxley here? I think I will. Pump pump or pump pump, whatever he said. We chose Quaxley. And now we gotta name him. Of course, we have to call him Daffy. Daffy Duck, come on! 
That's a great nickname. So, hey, if you chose Quaxley, write down in the comments below, what would you have nicknamed him? Would it be Daffy? Would it be Darkwing? Ooh, I actually like that a lot. Can I change the nickname? No, I kind of can't. Also, I'm very strong just to hold a duck on my arm like that. Shout out uh, to me. <laughs> Quaxley seems to have taken quite a liking to you, Master Drew. Is this your first Pokemon? Yes, please raise it with love and care. I will do my best, bruh. Okay. Can't believe you actually chose Quaxley. What do you mean you can't? I mean, like, way to make the perfect choice for you. You two make such a good combo. Yes, we do. She's uh, confusing. Can I choose one of these Pokemon too, Director Clavel? You're the champion. You already said that. Did you not receive a Pokemon? No, back then, no. I had other Pokemon I was focusing on raising at the time. Wow. Could I have done that instead? Just saying. Splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal footing with Master Drew, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes. <laughs> and she's going to choose Zifuit Coco. Nice to meet you, Zifuit Coco. <laughs> Cra. <laughs> All right, then. Now we've chosen a Pokemon. We have to battle. I'm going for you down at the beach. Come and join me when you are ready. <laughs> Goodbye. As you may have noticed, Miss uh, Nimona is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling. Overly fond, really. But I do hope you'll join her for a battle. It will help you get to know your Pokemon as well. Oh, it will, will we? Battle Nimona is what we will do up next. Oh, let's take a look at our boy. Where is he? Where is he at? Hello, look at just running around. Aren't you so cute? Look at him. Well, hey, don't forget to like and subscribe right down below for the next episode of Nimona. And we get to meet a very, very special Pokemon. I am Drew Landy. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.